Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mo here. Yes, I know you have noticed, don't get me started and let's not go there. Things happen, people make mistakes when they are trimming hair and then you have to get rid of them. Anyway, I'll bring them back again. Let's not talk about the hair and hair problems, let's talk about what's sitting here with me on my table. Well, Ishin Wizard X220 was one of the best FPV racing quadcopters of 2016 and I believe in 2017 from Ishin. And now I'm very, very happy that Ishin has just released the Vizard X220S quadcopter. Sitting right here, I have taken the liberty of taking it outside the box, setting it up with my Tyrannis X9D, and I even had a flight in Sandstorm. Yes, don't get me started. I went out very early in the morning to the desert, and I thought I will have lots and lots of fun with this, but I was caught in an unexpected sandstorm. so I can fly this in a better conditions and you know enjoy flying FPV with this one. So this is the Ishin Wizard X220S in my hand. First big difference is that it is running an Omnibus F4 V3 flight controller which can run higher loops and provides better responses when it comes to the flying and controlling FPV racing quadcopter. Before we go ahead, let me put the specs of this quadcopter on the screen or you can simply click the link in video description and go ahead and check the specs of this quadcopter. This time this quadcopter is running some serious specs and it delivers an impressive flight performance when it comes to FPV racing or FPV free styling. When I opened the box, I got a lot of propellers. I got an Ishin Wizard X220 a quadcopter with everything that was a PNP version. It's also available in the ready to fly version. And inside the box, there was also a sweet RunCam 3 mount or GoPro session mount. You can mount both of those cameras and it houses it very nice. And also, it's kind of like vibration dampened design, so your camera doesn't get any vibration and gets very, very smooth HD video of your flight. I also got two of these carbon fiber tools with some zip ties and some screws, nothing more. All right, let's fly the Ishin Wizard 220, see how it behaves. I love the LEDs at the back side. They dance like disco lights based on how much uh, ailerons and elevator is being pushed. So based on how much you push, they will go up and down. Man, they are beautiful. Sweet. <laughs> it is fast, I told you. I was having fun in a sandstorm even. Can go far really quick. Superb quad man. <laughs> nice, that's torturing the battery in this heat, I think. Acro mode. And let's test the punch, shall we? <laughs> it was gone like a rocket. A 
All right, one more punch. We're ready for it. Sweet, I am simply killing the battery. Well, throttle response is superb. It's really fast. Check it out. This thing is a screamer. Sweet, man. Let me, let me clean, clean the road. <laughs> Sweet man, you can see that the red and green LED on the bottom are really nice for you to have your orientation set, so you won't lose your orientation and if you are a good pilot, these are the LEDs that the other pilots will be following. All right, battery is dying. I killed the battery completely, I think. Awesome. Wow, wow, but that was so nice. It is, right? So you need to learn to fly these, okay? Baba, this looks like a ninja throwing star. Yes, these are ninja stars. Ooh, the battery is about to explode. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> so hot, Arish, you cannot touch. Okay, I'll leave it here. Leave it cooking here. Okay, one thing I noticed after two or three flights, you can see the propellers are getting fatigued right here in the center. And it's not just one propeller. All of these propellers are getting, and it's not just one propeller. All of these propellers are getting fatigued right on the base here where they're meeting the base. I have no idea why. I hope they just don't break during the flight. All right, time to fly FPV now. Now, Ishin Wizard X220S is a neat and nice quadcopter for those who don't have time to build and those who want something that will come out of the box and deliver superb or an impressive flight performance, rip serious speeds, lots of hang time, ready to FPV freestyling or FPV racing. Well, Ishin Wizard X220S makes a good choice. But there are things that I don't like about this quadcopter, of course. First off, talking about the FPV camera, I really, really don't like the image quality of this camera. Most of the time, you cannot actually see things very, very clearly. I mean, I had a better cam. I have better cameras on Shuriken X1 and on other of my quadcopters, and they they provide a very, very clear image. This time, I'm very sorry, Ishin FPV camera did not actually impress me. Second thing that I don't like about the Ishin Wizard X220 is the video transmitter which is mounted under these uh, velcro straps for the battery and right here under here and right under here there is a very important button on the video transmitter that you will use to switch frequencies or bands or switch the power of your video transmitter from 25 milliwatt to 200 milliwatt or 600 milliwatt. There's no way you can do any of these like changing frequencies, bands or switching the power of the video transmitter without taking apart a good amount of this quadcopter. So you have to take apart the whole top of this quadcopter. If you mounted your camera, you have to take this camera mount away and then you will be able to get to that button which will change bands and frequencies and then you can make some changes and after that you have to put everything back which actually is kind of annoying and really takes a lot of time when it comes to just change or switch a frequency or change a band or switch a band and stuff like that so Ishin I hope you will take care of this problem in the future please provide us an easy access to that button I mean all you have to do is drill a hole somewhere for an easy access to that button so we can change the frequencies and bands and uh, you know power of the video transmitter just by pressing that easily without having to open everything. Part of these little drawbacks that I have just described, this thing flies superb, it's really really nice and tough, it's fast, it rips up serious speeds, it has a lot of hang time for FPV freestyling, you will have a lot of lot of fun with it. And if you do FPV racing, 
you're definitely gonna have a lot of fun with Ishin X220S. Definitely it's a two thumbs up product, but Ishin, remember, we need a better camera and better video transmitter on this quadcopter. Thank you very much Ishin for making another good product. I'm off for more FPV flights. <laughs>